What if a close friend told you their partner controls their spending, hides passwords to shared accounts, or overreacts to the simplest purchases? The truth is, these could be signs of financial abuse. Financial abuse is when one person in a relationship uses money to gain power and control over the other person. If I had marks on my arms and fear in my voice, you'd notice. Allstate Foundation's Purple Purse campaign raises awareness about the often misunderstood issue. The group's new PSA features tennis star Serena Williams. But what about the abuse you can't see? Not all abuse leaves a visible scar, but that doesn't mean it's not just as impactful or painful. Allstate calls financial abuse an invisible weapon and says it occurs in 99% of domestic violence situations. The effects can be so damaging, victims aren't able to leave their situations even if they wanted to. Abusers can go as far as to ruin their partner's credit or tax history so they can't move out or buy a car to have even a slice of independence. A 2017 poll by Sensei, an online financial wellness community, found 60% of millennials had experienced financial abuse. The survey taken by 2,000 millennials showed 69% of women reported experiencing financial abuse compared to 40% of men. An expert from the National Women's Law Center told CNBC no matter how trapped someone is in an abusive situation, there are always options. The center acknowledges that the most dangerous time for a victim can be when they decide to leave their abuser. There are organizations that offer legal help in those situations. And if there's time to plan an escape, domestic violence organizations offer a safe way out. But the founder of Sensei says the good news is there's an increased awareness of financial abuse, thanks in part to social media. 72% of people in the company's survey said they had some sort of awareness of what financial abuse is. Organizations like Purple Purse are dedicated to shedding light on the topic by educating not only victims, but also their family and friends. Because it's better to avoid a toxic situation at the first sign of trouble than to spend most of your life trying to recover from one.